got an absolutely massive weekend in Women's Rugby League coming up. It's Super League return. So much has happened already in the build-up to the start of the league. It feels like it's halfway through the season with the, obviously, Challenge Cup. So much talent already being on show. Cannot wait for this season to start. And playing for the Betfred Women's Super League new trophy. What a beauty. Absolutely brilliant. Looking ahead to the game, Huddersfield Giants and York City Knights. Huddersfield then in the place in the Group 1 after an impressive season last season. Facing York City Knights, who, well, for talent in that team, absolutely brilliant team. Be interesting to see how they do this season, full season playing together and good Challenge Cup run. So it'll be interesting to see where they finish this season. Nice local derby in West Yorkshire, Featherstone Rovers and Bradford Bulls. I think it's pretty quite an evenly matched match game. Both got a lot of depth and talent in the squad. Um, a lot of rebuilding in the pre-season, so it'll be, it'll be a good game, this one. Next one, Wakefield Trinity and Lee Miners are relatively unknown quantity in the Super League this season, and in their right after getting promotion from the Championship last season. Very tough squad, and I think they'll be a good addition to the Super League. And Wakefield going through a lot of changes in pre-season, brought a lot of new players in, so this should be a good one as well. The next history makers in, in Barrow, getting promotion again up into the Super League. Ex massive expansion in the game in Cumbria, and these women are the pioneers behind expanding the women's game there. Against Warrington Wolves, who well-established team in the Super League, got a lot to bring, and this group too we, would be heating up really nicely this season. And then we've got the big one, St. Helens and Wigan Warriors. Nice local derby there, a lot of history there. Obviously, people expect expecting St. Helens to carry on their good form, and if the Challenge Cup's anything to go by, that's going to happen. Absolutely brilliant setup there, and the talent in the squad, in both squads, but St. Helens especially. So much talent, so much depth and well-drilled team over there. Now with the Super League being split into two groups as well, I honestly think, especially leading up to the World Cup, it's going to be more competitive. It's going to bring out more talent, especially with the club, clubs in Group 2. I think that will be a really tasty league because maybe when they're playing the bigger teams like the St. Helens, the Leeds Rhinos, players that always get a chance to showcase the talent because there's a lot of defending but I think this is a genius move splitting it up into two groups just to show everybody off and show the women's super league for what it is competitive league showing the showcasing the best of women's rugby league so excited for this